Hello and welcome everybody. Now, did you know that there are over 300 known enzymatic reactions that help our body to function fully? 300? That's a lot, right? So if we're going to put more magnesium into our bodies, we wanna make sure that we're getting the right ones. So today we're gonna to talk about what types of magnesium are a waste of money and we will cover some ones that are good as well now nobody likes to waste money but there's so much choice out there and so many different types that sometimes it can be quite confusing and we don't understand uh, where we should be spending our hard-earned money now as we said there's over 300 known reactions in the body that need magnesium and these will all help with uh, energy production and muscle function, helping our nervous system to function properly, healing and immunity, the regulation of blood sugars, and even DNA synthesis. Now magnesium is quite a, I would say, a fashionable supplement at the moment. I get asked lots and lots of questions about it. So I thought what would be best to do is to break magnesium down into the different types of magnesium because different types of magnesium will actually have different strengths and also weaknesses. So we've put together a little presentation for you. So uh, we'll start off with magnesium threonate. So magnesium threonate can cross what's called the blood brain barrier. So it can get into the brain, whereas not all types of magnesium can. It helps to increase the density of the synapses in the brain. Synapses are little junction points that help messages to cross. And this leads to better brain function. Although it is expensive, it is very effective. Next we have magnesium glycinate. Now this is great because it turns the brain into calm mode. It's fantastic for helping us to relax and improve sleep. It also has excellent absorption, which means that the amount of magnesium glycinate we take usually gets in the body to be effective. Next on our list is magnesium taurate. This is where magnesium is bound to taurine. And you may have found that ingredient in some energy drinks. So unsurprisingly, magnesium taurine is very good for active people who are looking to help their recovery and getting rid of any unwanted uh, muscle aches and pains. Again, fantastic absorption, which means the body uh, gets most of the magnesium you take. It is relatively expensive, but as we said before, sometimes you're worth spending that little bit of extra money in order to get something that is overall going to be effective for you. And now we take a look at magnesium chloride. Again, a very high level of absorption, so it gets into the body. Chlorides draw water uh, into the cells, and that helps to hydrate the cells, which has a detoxification effect. It also increases the production of hydrochloric acid, which actually decreases over the aging process. So it can play a part in helping to reduce things like uh, reflux. Again, fantastic absorption, getting most of the magnesium you take into your body. Now you're probably thinking, well, so far, none of them seem to be a waste of money. They're all uh, very effective and all do the job you set them for. Well, <laughs> this is where we change tack. This is where we find out which ones are the ones to avoid. So you can check for these by checking the label or asking the suppliers. So next we have magnesium oxide. This is where magnesium is burned with oxygen and we don't actually know how good the quality of the magnesium is to start with, so it could be of quite a low quality. The really disappointing thing here and something that sticks out is that only four to five percent of magnesium oxide that you take actually makes it into your system. So you're literally uh, might as well flush 95 to 96 percent of it straight down the toilet before you even start. It is relatively cheap, but you'd kind of expect that, wouldn't you? Because you're only getting four to five percent of it to be effective. And then we take a look at magnesium glutamate and aspartate. 
glutamic acid and aspartic acid uh, work in a way that they increase nervous system activity. So if you think of magnesium, as we talked about before, naturally helps to calm the nervous system down. And then we're binding that with glutamic acid or aspartic acid that excites the nervous system. We've got two things antagonizing and pulling against each other. So you're probably ending up with a net zero. So you're paying for this supplement in order to do something, uh, whether it's to excite your nervous system or calm your nervous system, but you're actually getting a net zero result. So paying money for something that's doing nothing probably constitutes and qualifies as a waste of money. So now a really interesting one is magnesium citrate and only really interesting from a, a mischievous point of view. Magnesium citrate is quite a strong laxative. Uh, yes, so if you take too much of this or a high dose of this, then please make sure that you are close to a bathroom somewhere because you could end up with a rather explosive uh, bowel movement uh, within, sometimes within minutes, uh, most of the time it's within a few hours. And of course, if you do have a large scale bowel movement like this, it can actually leave you a little bit more mineral deficient than before you took the magnesium in the first place. So uh, you'll probably agree with me, it's best to avoid it if you don't want to end up in this type of situation. It's coming out of me like lava! So in summary, when you're thinking about taking a magnesium uh, supplement, start with the end in mind. They all have different strengths and you should choose accordingly from that. We've put some links to some products that we've used personally and that we can recommend. Uh, you can find those in the description to the video. But please feel free to let us know which supplement you use. Have you tried a few different ones? Have you gone through this process of wanting to calm your body down, but actually taking something like a glutamic, uh, a, so a magnesium glutamate or aspartate, um, or maybe even taking a magnesium citrate and paid the price for it? Maybe we don't need to know those stories. Yes. But um, which one do you use, and what changes have you noticed? with your body uh, or your mind since taking it. But thank you very much for uh, watching. Really appreciate you coming along. Anything you want to ask, please put that in the comments. If you enjoy the videos, feel free to give it the thumbs up. And if you'd like to be kept up to date with the videos that we release, then just click that subscribe button and also click the bell and you'll be notified when we release. But thanks again, take care, and we'll see you soon. Bye bye now.